foresters from Nature Conservation Division, Department of Forest and Park Services. Right now we are in the Jimidoji National Park in Western Bhutan and we are in the Snow Leopard Habitat. So right now we are on the way to set up camera traps in the mountains where Snow Leopard frequents. Snow Leopards are Crepuscular in nature, which means that they are active uh, early in the morning and uh, late in the evening. They are uh, very, very elusive, which means they are very difficult to spot in the wild. And uh, they live a solitary life, and uh, they live in a designated uh, home range, and they often patrol their home range. Uh, in Bhutan, the snow leopards are found in very high altitude regions. Uh, mostly about 4,000 meters above the sea level in very harsh climatic conditions and rugged terrains. These habitats are uh, inhabitable for most of the mammalian species and it's also quite uh, difficult for the rangers to patrol. Okay, we have climbed uh, up this hill for about more than an hour and then uh, as we reached at this place you can see uh, the kill side of snow leopard. Uh, I mean, this snow leopard have killed a blue sheep in this particular place, and then you can see the hairs of the blue sheep as well as the remains of a blue sheep uh, carcass. You can see the, the vertebral core column and then some remnants of its uh, skull. So, this shows that this particular area is being used by snow leopards frequently. And then, if we set up camera traps around this area, we are quite pretty sure that we can get a very good uh, image of snow leopards in this area. Camera trap is one of the best methods suited for recording the presence of species, monitoring population of animals, and to record the presence of rare and elusive animals such as snow leopards. mountains to set up camera traps to capture the Sulu six skull apples. So today we came back to see if our camera traps have captured this snow airport. So there is no leopard. Wow. So we have set up the camera in the right place. Sun chokha chudi, 